Newfoundland and Labrador is enjoying a strong and growing economy. Our province's energy corporation, Nalcor Energy, is responsible for meeting the growing demand for electricity from residents and businesses. An important part of this mandate is securing sources of clean, renewable and affordable energy. Nalcor is proposing to develop an 824 megawatt hydroelectric facility at Muskrat Falls on Labrador's Lower Churchill River and a transmission line that will run from central Labrador, crossing the Strait of Belle Isle, and extending to Newfoundland's Avalon Peninsula. The development will meet the province's domestic and industrial needs and lay the foundation for long-term energy exports. To deliver power from Muskrat Falls in central Labrador to Soldiers Pond on the island of Newfoundland, Nalcor has designed a High Voltage Direct Current, or HVDC, transmission system. This system will allow transfer of up to 900 megawatts of power from Muskrat Falls to the island's electricity grid. Converter stations will be located at Muskrat Falls and Soldiers Pond to convert back and forth between alternating and direct current. HVDC is the most efficient and reliable method of transmit bulk electricity over the 1,100 kilometer transmission line. This technology has been proven around the world in similar applications. In preparing for the transmission project, Nalcor identified a two kilometer wide study corridor to examine for the overhead power lines. Crews completed extensive environmental work in the area, confirming the study corridor has the optimum characteristics for constructing transmission lines while ensuring minimum effect to the environment and surrounding communities. Respecting design, operational and environmental requirements, a 60 meter wide right of way will be selected for the transmission line and will be adjacent to existing transmission lines and access roads wherever feasible. The planned transmission route falls outside of Terra Nova and Gros Morne National Parks. The island's current electrical system has many unique challenges. It is isolated from the rest of Canada and operates in harsh conditions involving wind, ice and sea salt spray. For over 40 years, Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro has safely and reliably operated this system for its customers. Building on this knowledge and experience, Nalcor has completed detailed analysis to gain a thorough understanding of the conditions where the transmission lines will be constructed. Eleven different loading zones, each containing many different combinations of wind and ice load cases, were identified. In the Long Range Mountains and other Alpine regions, for example, crews installed test structures to capture icing data and used state-of-the-art atmospheric modeling to understand the condition to be used for design. Following standard practice for large transmission projects, construction of the Labrador Island Transmission Link will take a staged approach. Crews will begin with clearing the right-of-way. They will then install foundations, assemble and erect towers and insulators, and finally they will string conductors. As required, workers will also establish access trails and build camps and material storage yards needed during construction. Transmission construction is expected to take about four years. The Labrador Island Transmission Link, including the Strait of Belle Isle Crossing and the 1,100 kilometers of transmission lines from Labrador to the Avalon Peninsula, will help ensure the safe and reliable delivery of Muskrat Falls power to homes and businesses.